Hi everyone, here's another quick video to help you with your take home exam. So I know a lot of these tools that we're using to research specific genes and specific genetic diseases are new. So I wanna provide any help. If you're looking for where to find something on the database, just send me an email and I'll show you where to look. Um, and I think this tutorial will really help when you're looking for single nucleotide polymorphisms, sort of the simplest type of allylic variant that we might find in a genetic disorder. So I'm gonna start by looking up MAGL2. This is the gene that we looked at in our last case study in class. And when I look it up, I see the gene, I see what it's associated with, I see that it's autosomally dominant inheritant pattern, and I can look at this view on the left of allylic variants. When I click on the table view, it shows me a lot of different changes to the gene, molecular changes, that result in disease. So you can see the phenotype on the left and the specific mutation is in the mutation column. Some of these changes are deletions. They show up as one base pair deletion. It might be a 50 base pair deletion. And some of them are single nucleotide polymorphisms. We can tell that because they result in a single change of one amino acid for another. So if we look at this SNP, you can see that, it would, um, that there's a change at the 1,024th amino acid. And I can click on this link to bring me to the Ensemble Genome Browser and see what the two versions of the gene are. I can also look up this number on Snippedia. Because this is a unique identifying number, it will tell me what the gene is if I look it up on Snippedia. So you can see here's the report, and it shows that CC is the most common genotype. CT is the, the associated one with these two conditions. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two genotypes. So if I was doing this for the exam, I would draw a picture of the CG pairing, and then I would draw a picture of the AT pairing. You can see the same information is here. It goes from a G to an A, or if we're looking on the other strand, it goes from a C to a T. So that's how to look on OMIM for SNPs. That's how to search SNPedia if you have an RS number. Um, and then there's a third resource, the Ensemble Genome Browser, can also give you a report of how a single letter change results in a different allele. 